Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor have another shave of the day. And today we're going to be doing, well, the classic shave you've probably seen from the thumbnail. It's Williams Soap. It's a very citrus forward uh, classic scent that you have that's been around for a long time. My grandfather's favorite uh, soap that he always used. And speaking of grandfathers, I've got my grandfather's razor here. This is the Star Razor. The Star of the Week, I guess it would be. It would be the second shave I've been using this week with it. With Astro Blades, third or fourth use. I'm not sure. i got to take a look. I think it's fourth. And we're pushing it today. So, and we're going to be using the mug. His mug, shaving mug. I still have to figure out how to... He did it. Thank you. If I remember right, he always did a face lather. He'd get it loaded up in this brush. Speaking of brush, uh, this is what the Omega brush. It's a bore brush. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Smith uh, suggested this one. He uses this. And uh, it works really good for this mug shave because it goes right in there without clank, 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 which drove me nuts with my other razor uh, blade. Or can't say it. Brushes. There we go. Say that. Uh, I think this one might have to be a face lathering time with this one. And then we'll follow it up with a little bit of Barbasol. A little classic Barbasol. That's what he used. So, there we go. Let's get her done. Put a little moisture on the face and see how this works. We can get her done. Alright, so. Oh yeah, I guess it's all. Oh, that works good. A little bit. I'm not an overly big face lather kind of guy, but this seems to be the way to do it. So, that's enough on the face. I uh, washed this uh, brush uh, twice now with uh, the uh, shampoo and everything to soften it up and get that scent out of it. But still can smell some of it. Hanging out, maybe after this use, and maybe another time I'll take care of that scent. Not that I use it very much, but we'll see. It's the first time I've used that one. So, all right. So this was my grandfather's razor, and the blade seems to be still cutting smoothly. I'm not feeling any tugging after four uses. Usually, I get four easy shaves out of uh, Astra before. I Sometimes it was six, just depends. But this uh, William Soap is a, what do you call it, a citrus, kind of a soapy. It reminds me of uh, Irish, not Irish, but ivory, ivory soap. There we go. We had ivory soap in the uh, locker room in high school. Every time I smell this, it reminds me of getting done with uh, football or wrestling practice. Go in and hit the showers and smell it. Flashback. Not to mention watching my grandfather shave with it. The Williams. He wasn't a uh, everyday shaver. It was like every two, three days he'd shave. So his whiskers, when he did a face lather, would go pretty quickly. Yeah, got that classic kind of a citrus forward. Not exactly what kind of citrus it is. It almost smells kind of like a lime, lem more lemon, I guess. But it's not a lemon pledge scent. So, I'm getting more of that boar brush scent coming across too. It's kind of skewing things. Yeah, because it's kind of a animal smell coming across. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's go across the grain. Now my grandfather was an interesting individual. He, he was born in 1900. So it'd be 120, almost, I think he was born in March. So it would be almost 122 years next month. And his father was born in Germany. Came over from Germany and uh, came over on a ship. Basically, he boarded a steamer and came over. It was right after the uh, that time period we had the Franco-Prussian War. And a lot of Germans came over, immigrated to the, looking for land to become farmers. It's like, you can't throw a stick in the state without hitting somebody of German ancestry. He would tell stories about his, you know, his, his dad, how he was a immigrant and yeah, you know, they originally from up by Denmark. So it's like when I did the uh, ancestry.com, a lot of my ancestry is. There's German, Danish, and Norwegian. So it's all that same region. With a little bit of Scottish and English. But it's hard to say if you're from England. A lot of your ancestry will be uh, Nordic. Because of, uh, well... It was a great invasion spot. Great fixer upper island. Everybody wanted a piece of it. So, especially if you're up in the uh, northeastern part of the country. You know, it's like you say, well, it is from English. You get some English ancestry, but how much of that is that? Norwegian and Dane, you know, it's, you're, you're not sure. <laughs> no, used everything up in the mug. Definitely smelled like Williams. But he was a, you know, they had a, the family farm in uh, eastern Iowa. By a little place called Tipton, Iowa. The whole family is, uh, which is interesting is that, you know, the cousins also, you know, they, my dad's cousins, you know, have been his uncles. All had farms and they were all interlinked together. That was one of those things where they all um, farmed at the same time together. And then when my grandfather decided to get out of, he broke his back in a farming accident. And he decided to get out of farming and he sold the farm to his his uh, brother and then it got passed down and it, they joined it together in one big farm we used to go hunting on it when I moved to Iowa we still hunted on the property meet my cousins and stuff meet my second cousins some of them have 
actually moved over in this region. It's like people ask me, like, is that any relative? Yeah, if it's got my name, it's a relative. Like talking about we were the only ones of the name that came over during that time period. So they're probably second, third, fourth cousins. Going how back. My dad, he came a fam from a family of 13. His dad was from, I think, a family of... No, my dad's from a family of 11, but his, grand, his dad, was, my grandfather, came from a family of 13. There we go. And so it was huge. And I got a family history book, you know, showing pictures of everybody and everything. It's kind of cool. Back in the early 60s, they, you know, that was the thing was that you do your family research and they would uh, make a book. You would uh, put all the pictures so I get to see all my current or great aunts and uncles and Kind of cool. Now my wife's side of the family, they could care less. It was like, you know, you'd ask, it's like, I don't know. It's like they just they're here. Like, okay. And I talk about it, and I go, Wow. It's like, is it that important? Yeah, it is. You know where you come from. But, you know, just interesting how some families care about it and others don't. Like on my mom's side, they got the, uh, their family history book goes all the way back to the 1600s, you know, when they first came over to the country, over here, the continent. From one continent to the other. Came from Germany. Settled in Virginia. Definitely tell this. You now the Astro Blade is starting to get a little slight tugginess to it. Especially in the upper lip where I got the heavier hair. One thing about Williams, it dries out quickly. It's not a. Probably one of the reasons why I never liked it. I had my choice of Old Spice or Williams. I took the. Uh, Old Spice by far. But I have almost like my mom's side. That was a long history. And it's all written down from all the way up to the uh, 1960s when the book came out. <sighs> well, that's the shave. Probably gonna have a little bit of stain because I can feel it just a tad bit through the neck area. Is uh, start feeling them on that final pass. It started feeling a little used. So we'll see how the Barbasol feels. Classic scent, also Barbasol. Yeah, a little burning right through here. A little more than usual. But, you know, par for the course. Ah, all right. Barbasol. Another one of the likes. So, Sig, how do you like your Barbasol? This is a question out to you, Mark. Oh, yeah. Smells good. I like the scent of it. It doesn't get used enough around here. It's like after... It's like if it... I have my big three that I always use all the time and 
doesn't get enough use. All right, so that was the shave of the day. And that was Williams, the old classic mug style shave with the old Amiga brush, bore brush. And then we had the uh, Star Razor with Astro Blade, star of the show. There you go. And that was the shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. So we'll hit the old like button, like and share, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.